DaVinci was created as a new category of learning tool that would engage children and empower them in a fun learning process. DaVinci, I think, offers them something special. Children are very capable. They are probably more capable than we think they are. We need to trust them. We want to give them the tools to help them to learn, but we don't want to control their learning. It does offer them the, the opportunity to really do something in their own time, in their own real time, not in the time that we think they should do it. Vinci currently offers uh, three level of programs, including toddler, pre-K, and the kindergarten. And no other children's tablet maker offers such comprehensive and systematic learning program specifically focus on the development, the cognitive development of, of children at different age. It's developmentally appropriate and it encourages the kids to develop confidence in themselves at the same time because they're learning how to use the tablet, they're talking with each other about it, and it really makes learning fun. I have the image about a lot of children who tell people that, oh, I'm not good at this, or oh, maybe I'm not good at math, or maybe I'm not good at language. To me, it's impossible that a child cannot be good at something. A child cannot be good at something because the child was not given enough opportunity to try out, to explore his own potential. And so what we need to do is really to create a tool for the child to have the confidence because confidence is really everything, right? When you have the child's attention, when the child has the confidence, the child can learn everything. And we've let the children from two and a half up to five use it. And each of the groups has been, um, been able to enjoy it at their level. Children, they need to be good at everything to be competitive. And so from very young age, we expose them to many different subjects. That's why in Vinci, learning program, we cover thinking skill, we cover language, we cover math, there's science, there's world knowledge about it, there's also social emotional study about it. So we don't want to, to um, uh, overemphasize in one particular area, but rather expose children to all the potentials and opportunities. It's not about technology, it's about children. It's to give teachers a tool to know how uh, each child is learning. It's also a tool for parents to understand uh, where their child is strong or where their child is weak. They can talk about it, share the information with their friends, and actually go home and talk to their parents about it, which I think is really wonderful for parents to hear that children are actually learning something through technology, because technology is part of our world now. We are living in a digital age. Technology is everywhere. Uh, we can't avoid uh, technology in our daily lives, so I don't see why we should avoid technology in education. But there are many ways of using technology in education. One way is to put a computer or a piece of hardware in the classroom and hope that it can be helpful for children. And the other way, which is Vinci way, is we put technology into use, providing the program and the structure for children to enjoy using the technology, but in the meantime, making sure that they are on track, learning uh, or going through their learning process. I started the Vinci project based on my personal experience. When my daughter was about 12, 15 months, she was very addicted to iPad. It was very hard to take iPad away from her. And it was very scary for me because for a 12, 15 months old child, she's supposed to be running everywhere. She's supposed to be talking to me or wanting to do something with me. But rather she was all by herself, very focused on iPad, the program and everything, but she was shutting herself off from the rest of the world. That was scary and I thought that I was very 
impressed with how iPad could do to little kids. So we see the power of technology, but in the meantime, I was very concerned about it because it wasn't really designed to help her to have more interaction with her parents or to learn more from it. She was, you know, playing, enjoying, but how much she was learning, I had a question. And so uh, looking uh, uh, over on the internet, going through everything I could find, I concluded that it wasn't really designed for children from learning purpose point of view. And being a technology person myself, uh, having spent you know, 20 years in telecom, in networking, um, I came to the conclusion that I need to take this thing in my own hand because first that's for my own child. When I think of iPad, I really think of it as an adult computer. The Vinci tablet is for children. When I see it, the way it's designed, I really get the idea that the kids can hold it, they can bring it close to them, they can put it on the ground, it's, they can interact with it. When she was created to have uh, uh, technology tools such as tablet, cloud computing, databases, yet we use a lot of creativity to create games that are very fun for children to enjoy. And so we can build structure learning structure in the game so children when they are having fun they are learning and gaining skills. They're able to actually participate more with the application than when they're just sitting in front to me in front of a screen where they look like they're kind of uh, mesmerized by the whole thing and this way the kids are really enjoying themselves. They're animated, they're talking. We basically provide everything in terms of hardware, software, learning structure, research, everything together and give that as a tool to teachers, helping teachers to assist the children in their learning process. The curriculum has been good for the teachers because they can build on it. Digital learning is just a part of learning. The digital part helps to make the process fun helps to engage children, but for children really to grasp the, uh, the concept, you really have to incorporate the digital learning together with your traditional material. It can go in whatever direction the teacher chooses to take it. And that's actually really a, an important concept in early childhood education. Vinci for Home is more informal learning. So we use daily subjects like uh, food, uh, animals, farm, to be the talking points so children and adults they can have the conversation it's not just like children they are playing by themselves and nobody's talking rather we want to create a social experience so children they are learning they are getting feedbacks from their parents and parents are also interested in what the children are learning uh, vinci for school is uh, quite different in the sense that it's more structured so we use a play and learn management system to track each children's progress. We can also give the report to other teachers so that the teacher knows in my class, some kids they get it, some kids they may have some difficulties or some kids they are very advanced so that differentiated learning can be taught. Um, and also we can connect the parents through play and learn management so that parents they are updated on a daily process rather than waiting for parent-teacher interview twice a year type of thing. I came from a culture and background where uh, learning was an obligation. I worked very hard so I was a very good student. I was top student even. I went through you know college and everything but I had to say that it wasn't really very fun because I had to do that. Yes, we want children to succeed, uh, to be the best in their class or to get into a top college or everything, but can we make this process more fun? They are more engaged, so they don't feel obligated to learn. And now that I have my second child, I said, I don't want her to suffer. I want her to be still the best, but I don't want her to suffer. Is there a fun way to do it? And that, you know, with Vinci, I definitely see that being a possibility. I see her playing, screaming, I want little ducks to win. 
and at the same time, she's learning three number addition. I didn't need to push her. She was learning by herself. She was having fun. When she saw ducks winning over the frogs, and she was so happy, yay, the ducks win. And that's what I want to see. The kids can't wait to use it. If one group is using it, it's really hard to keep the other kids away. They all want to either have a turn or they want to watch what's going on. I have some other parents who consistently, consistently use uh, Vinci. By the time their child is three or something, they will say, oh, my son is six months ahead. We have kids coming into school every morning. Is it Vinci Day? Is it Vinci Day? And you know, that, to be excited about learning, I think, is really great. I'm really glad that when the kids come to school, you know, they're excited about doing it.